All right, welcome back to Taste Panel for Chili Nerds, guys. Episode 262 today. Uh, yeah, in line for another one of those weird episodes. Uh, courtesy, once again, of Tom. So, hey, yeah, one of my subscribers to the show here. Uh, we saw the potato chips he sent a couple shows ago. Uh, this is another rare snack episode, I guess you could say. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at the bomb ghost pepper nuts, Naga Jalokia flavored peanuts. So uh, this time out, things will be a little smoother for me because I'm more of a fan of peanuts than I am of potato chips. So uh, kind of uh, curious to see what these guys here are going to taste like, how hot they're going to be. Uh, had our run-ins with several products from the bomb uh, made by Original Juan. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, again, Original Juan, you want to check those guys out, check out what they have, what kind of products they have, uh, go to www.originaljuan.com and there you can find their whole catalog of items. Um, yeah, here, uh, here we have uh, some ingredients listed. Uh, we have peanuts, uh, seasoning, salt, spices, natural flavors, ghost chili, pepper, dehydrated habanero powder, maltodextrin, onion powder, garlic powder, citric acid, malic acid, extractives of paprika, or extractives, I guess, maybe, of paprika, uh, natural smoke flavor, peanut oil, Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, it may contain traces, trace amounts of other nuts, well, who cares? Uh, mainly peanuts going on here today, so hey, uh, yeah, 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 hey, maracas, yeah, should be ringing in the new year here, but hey, we're still in September, so, anyway, the party here on the panel remains the same anyway, so, uh, okay, guys, uh, has a little, uh, foil seal here. We're gonna pull that back and uh, take a look at our peanuts. I don't know, can I bring this up? Is that gonna, I don't know, there you have it here, like a little pool of fire, I guess. Um, actually smelling, uh, sort of getting the same uh, thing we got with the potato chips. Uh, when I smell it, it smells like peanuts, guys. It doesn't, I'm not picking up anything really super spicy coming out of there. Uh, though I see the peanuts are indeed coated with uh, all kinds of spicy powders. Uh, however, smelling like, uh, like a, a, a salty, oily tub of peanuts. So uh, guys, hey, uh, Jalokia peanuts here. Let me uh, grab a few peanuts in my hand, throw them down, see how these guys taste, what kind of heat we get out of these. Okay. Um, okay. They have a. There is your traditional uh, peanut taste there. That's not being lost by massive amounts of spice that will bury the taste of the peanut. So I'm sure all of you have had such things before. Uh, maybe not Jalokia covered ones, but um, yeah, kind of a kind of a a, a spicy kind of peppery flavor, uh, a little bit of heat going on there from the powder that's coating the peanuts. Kind of getting a like a, a warmth in the back of the throat area, kind of extending into the chest. Uh, these guys remind me of the type of thing that would give you a gas pressure on your chest or kind of a heartburn type deal uh, if you would sit and uh, ingest enough of these. And the problem being there is that these peanuts are so good that uh, that just might be a problem. <laughs> so you have to kind of go into this uh, expecting that you might get some negative results coming out of this. It's not so much that the heat is devastating. Uh, i got a little glow at the back of the tongue, a little bit on the side walls of my, uh, of my, uh, of my mouth there, the inner cheek area, um, but more kind of concentrating as like a burning in the chest. And again, that could be a symptom of getting some like kind of gripping gas pains, like the fake heart attack symptoms. 
uh, have a feeling again if you ate enough of these uh, that might happen to you some people are more uh, prone to that kind of thing uh, me being one of them mm. but gosh the peanuts are really good um, um, with, with, with powdery spices uh, I don't know man I gotta put a cap on these or I'll be sitting eating them the whole show. By the end of the show, I might have an empty can here. So, uh, anyway, uh, I can't say the, the pepper, uh, the peppery powder is really identifiable as any particular pepper. Like, if I was to, uh, if I didn't know this said ghost pepper peanuts or haven't just read the ingredients and taken a handful of these, I would not be able to recognize this necessarily as Jalokia peppers. Um, the dry spice just kind of uh, comes together as what it is, kind of a dry, hot, spicy flavor, sort of like a cayenne powder or something like that. I'm not getting uh, a real serious heat off of these guys. Perhaps if you sat and ate a bunch of these in uh, any kind of repetition, uh, perhaps that would be a mounting thing and uh, you may be forced to stop a little early here because as I'm eating and swallowing, I've been noticing uh, the, the heat kind of building uh, from the back of the roof of the mouth coming forward. Uh, so I have a feeling that this stuff, again, uh, may hit you in repetition. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, the, I believe they were called the Some Like It Hot Pretzels in the silver bag. Uh, those guys came in different degrees of heat. Uh, you can get the, uh, you know, ranging from mild to extra, extra, extra hot, I believe. And, uh, wow, you'd sit and eat those things, and at first they'd be going down really well, and all of a sudden, if you had the real hot ones, it became impossible to uh, put another pretzel nugget in your mouth. Now, that is quite possibly uh, what we might get here. However, these guys here don't seem to be quite that hot. And uh, I think I could probably force quite a few of these guys down in a single sitting. So, hey, uh, again, uh, I'm a, more a fan of the, uh, the peanut uh, than I am the potato chip. Though I did enjoy the potato chips as well. Uh, something a little different, not just for the show, but in my life in general. So, uh, all right, hey, uh, so uh, again, kind of tasting much like you might expect. Uh, some uh, peanuts with some hot, dry spices on them. Enough to give the mouth a little glow. Enough to add a little chili flavor to your mouth as far as the dried type of chili goes. Um, and uh, yeah, getting a little ready. Starting to burp. So hey, uh, I told you guys, these things could be dangerous for me. So, uh, alright, anyway guys, uh, uh, well, I have... Uh, I have these nice spicy flavors going on in my mouth. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit here. I uh, was thinking, I said pull the fire. Uh, brought to my mind right away a uh, lake of fire, okay? Uh, yes, hey, we're all destined to die once in this life, okay? The um, Bible has two accounts, uh, two people who did not die a physical death here on earth. Uh, also, Bible accounts some people that had been resurrected and went on to die a second death. So, but all of us, in general, uh, uh, destined to die once, unless the Lord has some special, special calling for you. Uh, but anyway, the uh, uh, bottom line of this is that uh, some of us will, in fact, die the second death. Okay, guys, this is uh, a last show, kind of lighthearted, just kicking around some lighthearted stuff. This show, a little bit more of a serious edge going on here because, uh, hey, this is crucial stuff. Um, the second death being after we die, okay? If we're dying in unbelief, we will be judged and sentenced to a second death which is the lake of fire, okay? Uh, an eternal separation from God, which will, is in essence, 
eternal, as the Bible says, forever and ever. A place of torment. Okay? Now, the place of torment, the original design of this was to be a place where Satan would be sent at the end of days uh, to, uh, uh, to suffer and uh, all of his demonic minions uh, will go with him to the lake of fire, God's intention for the lake of fire. Uh, however, there are those among us who do not believe in God. Uh, will not accept God into their life, will not accept Jesus into their life, and uh, wish to live life on their own terms, here on earth, separated from God. Okay? Now, I've talked with several atheists, and I know the whole nine yards, uh, living in their world of reason, demanding proof, of absolute proof of everything, not looking at the evidence, okay, coming up with a thousand and one theories, when in reality, guys, we are small humans in God's great universe, unable to understand the, the, the whole total picture of God's creation. So, looking for absolute proof uh, is not going to happen until you die. Okay, but the big bottom line there is that when you die, if you die in unbelief, hey guys, it's gonna be too late. Okay, there'll be at that point, there'll be no chance of repentance. All right, so hey, uh, all things, I guess, work out for everybody though. Uh, those who believe in Christ, put their faith in Christ, uh, hey, will spend eternity with Christ because hey. That's what we want to do, those who have faith in Christ. We want to be with Christ. Uh, however, those who don't want anything to do with God uh, and Christ and, and abandon Christ and uh, go about on their own means will find that God will grant their wish as well and they will have separation from Him. Okay, the only problem being that separation from God leads to hopelessness and uh, the lake of fire whether that is a uh, a metaphor for just being separated from God or whether that is a physical place of fire uh, either way it's a place of torment it's a place of hopelessness it's a place of separation from God so hey uh, we got this life here why not use it to read your Bible find out what Jesus has to say uh, put your faith in Christ and uh yeah, hey, why die a second death when you could be resurrected to live with Christ eternally? Yeah, how about that? So, hey, food for thought there. Some serious stuff going on. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, 8 to 10. Or, you know what? I'm not even going to come back 8 to 10. I'm going to close the show right now because these guys aren't burning all so bad. So, uh, we're going to have a little quick improvised change of plans there. So, uh what I have going, uh, not much different. I kind of have the oily peanut taste going on. Um, kind of a little bit of spice hanging in there. Uh, maybe a garlicky note going on. A little bit of that uh, kind of powdered chili flavor hanging in there as well. Uh, heat's kind of dying down. Though while I was talking, got to admit, uh, heat did rise the full length of the roof of the mouth right to the back of the front teeth there. And uh, so, yeah, I have a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of kick going on there, uh, being uh, being uh, ghost pepper uh, uh, nuts and uh, being featuring, of course, being Nagajalokia. I uh, thought we might get a little bit more action out of those, but again, uh, hey, this may be geared as kind of like a uh, kind of a you know something more to appeal uh, to. Uh, to everyone, not necessarily uh, extreme chili heads. Uh, this is kind of uh, user friendly, even for those people who uh, who uh, aren't really into super hot things. Uh, this will uh, this will appeal to them as well as perhaps people that uh, that are looking uh, uh, or just plain chili heads in general. Because we have a lot, of, you know, a lot of spiciness going on here regardless. So I think it's meant to cover a continuum is what I'm trying to say 
in so many words. So, anyway, guys, uh, hey, we're going to wrap this episode. Cool doing snacks. Last snack I have. Uh, don't see too many snack programs, as I said before, coming forward here. But uh, I'll get back to doing some uh, some hot sauces. Uh, Tom also sent me a couple hot sauces. Might get a chance to look at those uh, uh, really uh, in the near future. So, uh, guys, hey, uh, read your Bibles. Say your prayers. It's so important to do these things. So uh, uh, please do it. And hey, we'll catch you uh, next episode. All right. Bye-bye for now.